Another round of trade talks between the top two economies in the world is set to get underway today. The Trump White House welcomed an official Chinese delegation. Now this is as a deadline for that major tariff boost sits in the not too distant future. John Lawrence has more. President Trump is optimistic the U.S. and China will work out their financial differences. We're a lot closer than we ever were in this country with having a real trade deal. Talks between the two superpowers restart Tuesday. Market access and protection of intellectual property are among the topics on the table, along with a Chinese pledge to purchase a set amount of U.S. goods and services. We need more opportunities to export vehicles from the United States all around the world. So our focus should be on reducing tariffs all across the board, not increasing them. This comes at a time when China's auto market is slumping and it's had a ripple effect. We usually settle payments with our clients before the Chinese New Year, but this year is particularly difficult to get our payments on time. The hope is to seal a trade deal before March 1st. That's the deadline for the United States to more than double tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese products. Tariffs are hurting China very badly. They don't want them. And frankly, if we could make the deal, it'd be my honor to remove them. I'm John Lawrence reporting. It's been a tough winter for farmers, especially beef and dairy producers. Extreme weather across a good chunk of the nation has resulted in some excessive livestock deaths. Ranchers who have experienced those losses may be eligible for recovering some of those losses thanks to the Livestock Indemnity Program. They need to contact their local FSA for further information. And by the way, the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic is underway. A lot of shows set to take place tomorrow. Work underway behind me. I'm Susan Littlefield on the Rural Radio Network. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.